Uh, uh, that's, yes, that's, that's going well. Right, and he's got he's got to toddle down here and, and just ram these ones. Uh, but then there's a reverse marker just there, which will flip him around the other way again. Yes, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got him. That's it. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Well, here we are, finding ourselves in a oh yeah, it's a VR game environment. Yeah, I can I can look around. Ah, look at the sophisticated graphics. It's magnificent. Um, yeah, so uh, it is VR, uh, but I'm playing it using mouse and keyboard. You can play it without uh, without VR, and that's uh, that's dead good. Just want to call this out, just while I'm here, is uh, you can read through the magazines. Hold on, let's uh, grab a page here. Uh, and this is all about the... Uh, this is this is how they do their, their update notes. You know? How cute is that? That's really great. I think that's, I think that's completely ace. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's by the way. You've got all your settings over here on your back wall because the idea is I'm in a room. And, uh, and this is my room at the moment. Obviously, it's got invisible walls and we've got this kind of skybox going on. But let's do the important thing and that is I'm going to build a table uh, and I keep all my parts in a drawer. And then over here, you've got another drawer with all the parts in as well. It's just so cute. Uh, now, I can't stress enough just how much I've uh, I've been surprised and delighted uh, by what's uh, by what's come to start with. So we're going to go for no, I didn't want that. I wanted uh, I wanted this. Did I? No, I wanted tables. Give me where I had tables a moment ago, and now I've lost them again. Oh, you know what? Do it through this. Here we go. Tables. Uh, let's get with a bit of the uh, bit of the rectangular table here, and then we uh, we traipse over the other side, and we'll we'll slap that down. You see. It's as easy as that. Now, if you want to copy it, you click it, you grab another one, and because I've got snap turned on, they'll snap to each other. So I'm going to want a few more of those. All right. Yeah. Now, give me another one. Uh, and then if you if you change your mind, so you've got the keys written on there, so if I want to destroy something, you can, you can do that. If I pick one up inadvertently and then chuck it on the floor, it's going to lie around on the floor there like Thor's hammer. Uh, but, uh, but that's okay, because I'll, uh, I'll get rid of that now. Right-click to just pick it up, you see. And then I want to destroy it, which is F. It's R. There we go. Right, so I've got myself a table. Woohoo! Okay, next, we're going to put some track on the table. Don't get too excited. This is going to be very, very simple, because I want to give you an overview. Uh, and then based on your comments, you'll either go, all right, build something big. Or you'll go, oh, it's cute. I like it. And I'll go, yeah, I quite like it too. No, I don't need to see it anymore. And I'll go, okay, that's fine. Um, oh, hold on, before I do that, uh, let's uh, go get rid of that. I want not everything visible. I only want to be able to edit my... We're not going to do anything too complex with this. Now, I can walk through all of this stuff that we've got lined down. Obviously, that's going to break your immersion a little bit. Uh, but you have to change your angle. I haven't been able to figure out yet. I'm sure there's a way. Uh, there will be people watching this who have played a lot more than I have. Uh, it will be able to go, yeah, yeah, you rotate your track by doing this, that, or the other thing. Uh, but in this case, I've found that, uh, firstly, the track will very merrily snap to itself. But if you want to change the angle, uh, then uh, then you need to uh, you need to be facing a different way. See, like there, I wasn't quite close enough to uh, the previous bit of track for it to snap. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Now, I'm going to build a, a good length there, and then I want some points. Uh, right, which ones do you want? I want these, I think. Yep, right. No, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't. No. Uh, get rid of those. Get rid of those. Right. I want... Hello there. I'm going to run in parallel with you. Is that this page of track? Uh, let's have a look. No, there you go. That's what I want. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a very simple couple of sidings here. Because I'll, uh, I'll give you a demo of the point at which I went, Oh my goodness, that's cool. Uh, right. Yeah. And then we'll go back to a bit more straights. Yep, you can move quicker if you you hold your cursor down. I like how they keep a, they they keep just a straight bit of track on the end. They figure you're gonna want it, uh, and you know what? They'd be right. Uh, right, let's uh, grab another piece of that. Now, if you hold shift, you can do multiple pieces like this, which makes your life a lot easier. All right, and uh, and that's that's all good. No, they're not the same length. You'll be okay with that, though, won't you? Yeah, I figured you would be. Uh, let's get rid of this bit and grab that. Grab this, and uh, are you going to be able to... You just need a straight piece of track sitting there. 
Oh, it will auto-place points. Didn't know that. Uh, oh, okay. Well, what if I grab one of those and stick it in here? Yeah, that sort of worked. Sort of didn't. <laughs> no, it sort of didn't. And also, that wasn't what I was after. Oh, yeah, there's a plane flying overhead. Look. Isn't that amazing? Um, uh, right. Get rid of that. Yeah. Get rid of this. Right. Now, copy that. Yeah. And I want it to slap into there. But not like... Um, that's not terrible, but it's not what I wanted. Uh, just grab it again. And let's try it from a different angle. Into there. Better, but not quite right. Keep going. Uh, uh, what about now? That's the one I wanted. There you go. Right, grab me some of this. And then uh, let's plunk this in here. Right, this will do me for my example piece of track building. Right. Right, okay. So I got my track up. Super. Switches. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, now, for, for my next trick, uh, we shall go grab ourselves a little, uh, a little train. Oh, yeah, we're not messing around. Uh, now, it's it's mostly American, but the workshop is uh, is stocked up with a whole bunch of good stuff. I'll take this sort of Norfolk Southern-esque kind of an idea. You're going to go, that's not Norfolk, Norfolk Southern livery at all. And I'll go, that's all right, I don't care. Um, right, and we'll we'll just stick that in there. Now, I'll flip that the other way. There you go. What? Nose forward, obviously. Cab, cab forward, even. Uh, now, if I want to make a, a double unit, which you can, you slap that on there. Let's reverse that. And then you just push it. A bit more. There you go. And they've coupled automatically. So I've got a double header going on there. How cool is that? Uh, yeah, because we, we can now break it back off again. And uh, grab it and chuck it away because we don't need it. Uh, not for this example. Right, I want some wagons. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah. yeah. Now, the, your mouse wheel moves you up and down. You might think it's zooming in and out. It's not. It's moving your, your elevation. Do you like the steam trains? Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll have one of those. Uh, we'll slap this fella over on uh, over on the track here. All right. There we are. Uh, other way, perhaps? Other way. Okay. Have I got enough? No, I haven't got enough run out. All right. I'm going to need a little bit more track before we do uh, we do anything significant with this. Um, right. And then uh, let's uh, let's grab me grab me some wagons. Now we'll stick a couple on here. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's that's track. That's not what. Like, fine, chuck it on the floor. See if I. No, you've cloned it. Sit. Left click clones the thing you're pointing at. Right click picks it up. Planes. I love it. I love the planes. Didn't need to do that, you know. They didn't need to do it. But uh, they did it anyway. Bless them. Right. See, see, it's just made a different variation on the same wagon. How nice is that? Uh, right, let's push that over to the right. Go on, go on, keep going. Thank you. Right, and then I'll get some. Uh, I'll get some flatbeds probably. Oh no, let's have a couple of tank cars. That'd be quite nice. I'm just going to do a little bit of shunting, you see, just to uh, just to kind of demo it. Uh, and then we'll. Uh, no, you've picked up the track again. Yeah, keep just keep shift held down. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And yeah. Okay, that'll probably do. You reckon that'll do? I reckon that'll do. Uh, right, push that over that way. Right. No. There you go. It made the clunk of, uh, uh, hello, we are all connected here now together. Uh, and that's good. Get rid of this. Uh, go back to my track. And uh, and I want uh, I want a straight bit of track, please. Thank you. Now, you, you're not stuck at this one elevation. You can make stuff go higher if you like. You can make it tunnel. You can make, oh, well, you could. Whatever you like, it's a train set. And you could do what you like with it. You think we've gone a bit far there? Uh, maybe. Let's get rid of that. Yeah. Let's go grab a curve. That's the thing that people have. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, you've got this piece of track here that will fill in any gaps that you've left between the bits that you've placed. So useful. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, it seemed like when I was when I was just tinkering around with this, every couple of seconds I'd go, "Oh, that's cute," uh, you know, or "Oh, what a great idea! Why didn't?" I mean, that's just a that's just a sweet piece of thinking. Uh, now then, are you going to curve the right way? That's not what I wanted. No. Also, get rid of that. Also, should have put that down beforehand. Um, yeah, you see, the the smart move is to uh, get yourself one piece of each track type that you want. 
slap it on the edge of your table so you're not constantly returning to the draw. But do I think that far ahead? No, madam, I do not. Uh, but, uh, yes, yes. No, I want it the other way. Alright, okay, well, grab it. Alright, try it from here. Other way, please. Nope. Okay. There must surely be an easier way of doing it than this. No. Okay. Surely. Thank no, still the wrong way. I want to curve the other way. How How would you get it to curve the other way? I don't know. No, stop picking up clones. There you go. Uh, right click. No, it's just dropped it on the table. Okay. Uh, mouse wheel. No. Hold on. Let's have a look. Uh, left click, place track. Yeah. Shift left click. Click is a duplicate copy. Right click, drop track. No, I want to. I want to place the track, but I want it bending this way. Just attack. Just a, attach at the other end. All right, pick it up. Let's try once more from here. And place. No. All right. Place. No. And place. It is. It is stubbornly always going to do it this way. You know. Yeah, I think we've established that that's what it's going to do. Why? How? Were? Mm. All right. Well, whatever. I'm going to have to go and poke around to figure out how that how that's made to function. That what will be ironic here is if this one bends the other way. Oh, it didn't. No. Right. Okay. Anyway, look. I've got enough track. What I now need is I now need buffers, uh, just to stick on the ends of these. Those are turntables. Yeah, I know. I know. It's singularly good. You can adjust the curve. <sighs> Right. Yeah. Use the custom curve thing rather than the presets. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Now, I think this is track extras. And we don't want this page. We want this one. There we go. We'll grab a couple of these. Hold the shift button, hold the shift button, hold the shift button. Yep, 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 yep. We'll do. Shift button, shift button, shift button. Yeah, and down to the far end for my judicious curve. And shift button. Right. Cool. Right. Now, uh, you just threw it on the floor. All right. Throw it away. Throw it. No. Throw, just, no, just don't make more of them. Start removing stuff. Yeah. That one and that one. Otherwise, you just your floor's going to be littered with stuff. Right. So, I'm done with placing initially. Uh, so, we now, we can grab this tool, which is the loco control tool. And you point at the loco you want, and you go, that one, please. And you go, right. Choo choo. Using E and Q, you make it go faster, you make it go slower. Right, there you go. So we've got this going at full tilt now, which is cute as a anything you like, and then you go reverse. Is it realistic? Nah, it's not realistic. No, but that's okay. Now, how do I. Uh, where's the. And then, if you've had enough of looking at it from this angle, you can press tab, and you're in the cab! Uh, at which point, again, it's the same controls, so you uh, you just tap the buttons there, and off we toddle. Uh, turn the headlights on, yeah. Turn the cab lights on, turn them back off again. Uh, give the horn a go. Beautiful. Uh, this is uh, Loco DX Bumblebee. I presume I can retitle this, but, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, have we passed the... No, we're not quite past the points yet. Okay. Alright, uh, slap the brakes on, and then off we toddle. Now, you're not, uh, you're not solid, you see, so you can still fly through the ground, which is why they call it being in large mode versus being in small mode. And we'll flick the points over, and we'll go grab some of them wagons. Oh, hold on, which way are uh, those ones are set? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going where we want. We want the, we want the tankers. Alright, so we'll, uh, we'll hop back on board. A little bit more. There you go. I want to be able to see out the window, you see? And then uh, back her up. Alright, smash it. Yeah, and now we're now we're tanking it out this way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out so that we can uh, we can still see what we're doing, but I wanna go back into model mode. Um, and the models aren't fantastically detailed, but you know what they are? Detailed just enough. Just enough to make it you know, really satisfying to look at. And by changing your height, you can you can get some really glorious angles and stuff. All right, ease it down. And... Thunk. Like it. 
Uh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Stick the bell on. Bell doesn't want to play. All right. Okay. Well, that's okay. Uh, and then, whoop, whoop. And there's no reverser to worry about. You either grip it forwards or you grip it backwards, much like a model railway. Uh, and then we're we're away. All right. Nifty, huh? Okay. Right. So you kind of go, yeah. All right. Yeah. I I, I see what you're doing there. And you kind of go. But wait, there's more. Uh, I want to disconnect that. Yeah, I'm not sure how you do it from here. Can I, if I click on it, has that done the trick? Well, I'm not controlling anything now. Try it. Yeah, zoom up, zoom up, zoom up, zoom up. All right. Oh, I've, I've cloned it. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing all the buttons wrong now. Uh, grab that and throw it away. Give me my train controller again. That's the editor. Give me the... Put that away. Give me that. That's it. Grab this. Now, what I want is a... Uh, I want to... I think you're going to have to get inside. All right. Excuse me. I was just going to decouple. You see, that's, that's uh, all we're going to do. Do a bit of that. There we go. Right. Uh, jump. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that works too. Because I can still control the train and I am still pinned to it, even though I'm outside the train. Uh, right, let's get back onto our uh, our original uh, original locale here. Oh, out, please. Out. Make me large. Stop. Buffers there, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, just slightly derailed it. Okay. All right. It's uh, it's not the end of the world. It's close to the end of the world, though, isn't it? Get, make me big. Hello. I'd like to be big, please. Make make me. Do you see? And that's uh, classic. Just just threw it off the table. Right. Put that away. Give me this. Grab this bad boy. Throw that away as well. I'll pick it back up myself. Uh, and then uh, stick this back on the original uh, the original siding. No, that's track. That's not what I wanted. Grab that. Put it on the track. I don't think you're going to. No, I think you're in track edit mode. Ah, uh, yeah. Meanwhile, you are your sorcerer is apprenticing all of your trains. Yeah, I, I, I definitely am. You've got an extra bit of track there as well. Let's get rid of that. Uh, right, pick up my. Then you've got one down there as well. Yeah. All right, pick that back up. Come here, you. Edit track. No, edit details. Let's say yes for the sake of apply the changes. No! Okay, the one thing this game does not have is control flipping Z. All right, we're back in the room. And uh, I've, I've rebuilt the track. This is a slightly jaunty angle. For some reason, these these buffers are all just sat here now. But that's okay. They can they can sit there. I'm not I'm not dismayed. All right, do, do, we'll take the uh, we'll take the old steam loco for a quick uh, a quick go. Oh, look at him go. You don't have to worry about your coal box or your water box or any of that kind of business. No, it's quite happy just just bimbling away there. Ah, super. Right, slow it back down. Yeah. And back it back up. Right. So we want to go. We want to stick it down here. At which point I'll jump in and uh, and decouple it. Yeah. And that will do nicely. Right. So let's get into cool stuff. Right. Let's put that away. Now, with a lot of these, it's not entirely obvious what it is you're looking at until you start mucking around with it. So we've got, you know, extra rail bits and stuff like that monkeying around. You've got these things that have got third rail and you've got uh, light gauge. You've got, uh, that's got a, a, a flipping uh, one of those. Yeah. Uh, what do they call that? Belt? They don't call it a belt. No, they call it something. But uh, But anyway, they've got all of that going on. And then you've got all of these kinds of gubbins and you go, oh, that's some science. There's a big learning curve to go through, but to do kind of fundamentals, it doesn't really take you very long at all, as I shall demonstrate forthwith. Signals, yeah, signaling fans, I know you like them. Uh, but what I want to show you is something very specific. So firstly, we will have, uh, where are we? I want the uh, I want the sound horn, I want a whistle board here, um, uh, because I'll show you a little bit of AI mode, which is the train being driven by the computer. And it will follow your instructions, which is ace. All right, I want one there. Yeah, and I'm going to have another one right about there. 
Okay. So uh, now, when we stick this into AI mode, which is... Wait for it. No, well, put it back down. All right, okay. No, you pick the track up. All right, pick it up. Yeah, put it down. Okay, I have done. Pick up the train controller. Tell it I'm talking to you. All right, and then we'll go uh, AI mode, please. No? You're just going... You're just going down there, are you? All right, bye then. Let me know when you get to the end. I wonder if it's going to stop on itself. I would imagine it would. I, I would hope it would put its headlights on. I mean, obviously, I could jump in there and, and do it myself. Yeah. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Are you going to stop before the buff? Yeah, there you go. There you go. He stopped. Right. Okay. Right. Fine. Well, I mean, woo, where have I gone? Uh, give me the give me the hoofa doofa here. That's it. Yeah, no, you. Right. Let's put this down somewhere useful. The floor? Yeah, you don't get much more useful than that. Right, jump in here and then start backing it up a little bit gently. Right, hang on. Oh, I've got to take it out of AI mode. Right. There we are. Right. Here we are. Okay, right, headlights on please. Right, now jump back out. And uh, and what we will see, I don't know if I turn AI mode on. No, you've got to be holding the train controller for that. I threw it on the floor. Yeah, I know you did. Oh, crikey. Yeah. You, you've basically got to get to the point where this is in any way second nature. Yeah. Well, this is... There you go. See, he's honked it. Okay, right. See, he auto-honked his horn because he went past a whistleboard. And you're going to go, uh, yeah, I'm not quite so impressed by that. Go, no, it's only because I made a snafu. Um, and that's, that's okay, too. Right, will you sit on the table, please? Thank you. Right, he's, he's reached his destination. No, 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 no it's, it's cleared off again. It's your flipping. You, oi, come here. Now, I believe you can put this in your belt, but I'm, I'm at a loss. Oh, you, you just press the button. All right, grab that and stick that in there. Yeah. I've got a lot to learn, kids. A lot. But what I want is to do that. Uh, we'll put a decouple marker... Right about here. Alright. Okay. Good. Uh, and then we'll uh, we'll tell Johnny Train. I don't know. I, I, this this is where it gets a little bit basic. You see. Uh, I'll go pick up those wagons, and then we'll get the train to do the uh, uh, the whatnot for itself. Yeah. Use this to lock AI. Uh, hold on. Use this AI lock to prevent AI from toggling specific turnouts. Oh. Enable or disable AI drive. Okay, that's cute. Uh, max speed, yeah. Reverse. Yeah, I'll have one of those. Let's see if I can get this to drive down here, pick these up, come back, slap it in that one, and drop it off. Alright. Doesn't sound too hard, does it? I think this is going to work. I've certainly pressed quite a lot of buttons. So, uh, you know, let's, let's see how we get on. Right, just activate the AI and see what it does. This could have been an adventure. Right, let's put that away. Yeah, there you go. It's, uh, it's coming down this way. Should have should pass re reverse board. Yeah, he has done. Yeah, hasn't worked though, has it? No, it, no, it, no, it gen generally hasn't worked. I think that is because. Yeah, no, no. I think it's because you'd placed it too close to the reverse board, so it, it couldn't do it. All right, now grab it. Yeah. All right, let's place it up here. Right. Get me, get me controller out there. Select that one. Turn it on. All right, let's see if this works. Ah, you never know. Might work. Might not. But it's going to be, it's going to be a whole lot of fun to find out. Right. Go on, turn around. Turn around. You were doing it happily a minute ago. There we go. There's the turnaround. Ah, uh, that's good. Now the tricky bit is switching the points. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I've got a. Oh, let's let's put the confidence level at about 34%. He's going to go past the whistle marker. Thank you. All right. And then he's going to come down to this one here. Uh, this marker that says enable AI drive, which should flip these points. In fact, it already has done. Yeah, it didn't seem to flip the points so much. But hey-ho, he's going to go up that way anyway. There we 
we go. Ah, yes, yes, it's, it's going well. Right, and it's gonna he's gonna toddle down here and, and just ram these ones. Uh, but then there's a reverse marker just there, which will flip him around the other way again. Yes, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got him. That's it. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. Right, now, the big test is going to be, when he reaches this end, is he going to toggle the uh, the point switch? Uh, you could either toggle the switch or toggle the points. Point switch is, anyway, it's meaningless. Alright, go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. I've seen you do it. Why are you not doing it now? It worked just fine when I had it here. Because what you do is... He's just going to send him straight back to the, uh, to the side here. You talk to this, right? Which brings up this menu. And uh, so you set the source track, which we've got set. It's that one there, which is the points. It's what you'd want. Uh, and then uh, you toggle the direction, which doesn't really do anything at all. Fixed direction means it's only going to do it if it's facing in a particular direction at that time. Yeah? Uh, and that's that's fine. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll hit apply on that, and uh, and then just wonder why it's not doing what I bade it. Anyway, whether this works or not is largely irrelevant. He's he's just happily going up and down now. Um, you want me to see me drive a steam train into it? Yeah, I thought you might. Okay, all right. Give me this. Uh, no, don't give me that. Yeah, have I got it? Yeah, I have. Select that. Yeah, make yourself small. Sweet as nuts. And uh, turn the headlights on, turn the cab lights on. Why not? I'm feeling lucky. Uh, and then uh, let's make myself big. And get a rolling. Alright, okay. Is it rolling? No, it's not, because you're not selected a loco. Select loco. Anyway, the point is, you can quite happily set up the whole thing to run in an automated fashion. You can ride it, you can watch it, you can all of that kind of stuff. Is there scenery? Yes, my friend, there is scenery. Okay, let's uh, let's set up for a disaster here, because I mean, it's what we want, isn't it? Um, and then with the the judicious, nay, clever use of uh, of operations, you can you can make the whole shebang uh, work on itself, and you could maybe run one train yourself, and it's you know, there's all of that kind of business. See what happens here. Clunk, eat this. That's it. Yeah, take no prisoners, bruv. Yeah. I mean, Colonel Failure, that's what you wanted, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, he's reversing now. I didn't even I didn't even have that on AI control. You know what you didn't have? This train is just running automatically. You haven't actually got AI trains enabled. Are you sure? I'm not, but you know what? I bet that's true. I bet that's the case. Yeah. No, you picked the track up again. Oh, for crying out. Thanks very much for watching. Bang a subscription at this if you can be bothered. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio.